Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with planning for two of Isla Vista's biggest events of the year. And News Channel reporter John Palmateri joins us live. John, the effort is taking place in Goleta. Goleta has been very proactive in its safety and parking plans when it comes to its relationship to nearby Isla Vista and a couple of big events there. The Halloween event coming up in a couple of months and the springtime Deltopia water oriented street party. The large Halloween street parties of years gone by are just a ghost of the past in Isla Vista. That's also reduced the tough parking and safety enforcement near Isla Vista in the city of Goleta. Parking passes are no longer required for the neighborhoods off Stork Road and surrounding streets in part because Isla Vista has become a non-Halloween event site and it's mainly locals, not out of towners. But now it seems like with law enforcement, and with the, um, the UCSB and with the stores and um, Gersh Park and other areas, um, you know, we, what we just said in there is so true. We all want people to have a good time. We just want them to be safe and we want the neighborhoods to be safe. And the city of Goleta's Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness Committee is keeping a close watch on the trends with the other big event, the Springtime Deltopia water-oriented street party on Del Playa Drive. That's during the day and usually with thousands of people flocking in. UC Santa Barbara has been involved during both events by having on-campus concerts and the Isla Vista Community Services District has put on family-friendly park activities. Halloween is at night and it's really been dialed in over the years. Um, it's very, very organized, coordinated amongst all the agencies in the area and we haven't quite figured out how to dial in Deltopia, but I think we're getting close. One of the areas where there will be a conversation going forward is with the operators of the parking lot where Target is located. The city says in the past during that Halloween party period, some people have parked their cars here and even had tailgate parties before walking into Isla Vista. For now, with Halloween quieter, no neighborhood parking permits are expected for that event. But the issue will be revisited early next year before Deltopia, which remains a concern. Look, there's too many cars and they all come back and they're drunk and then people are worried that they're getting in their cars and they're leaving and, and the trash and so. As for Deltopia, it's been called a different beast in that it's daytime and not at night. The bottom line for both events is keep it local, keep it safe. And this is a collaborative effort. We've seen it unfolding over several years. Actually, the COVID years actually slowed things down a little bit. But between the Isla Vista Community Services District, the City of Goleta, the Sheriff's Department, UC Santa Barbara, business leaders around here, community leaders, they've all come together to make this plan and to reinforce it. And it has made a difference, at least for Halloween and maybe soon for Deltopia. We'll follow it as it all unfolds in the months ahead. Reporting live at Old Town Goleta, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Hey, thank you, John. Dignity Health.